for closed chain dorsiflexion. We want to use an inclinometer and to get it zeroed properly we put it at 90 degrees on the floor that way when we flip it up onto the leg it will be at zero degrees. If you want to zero it on the wall then you would zero it actually at zero degrees. You want to put the inclinometer directly on the tibial shaft not on the soft tissue of the anterior leg. Make sure the calcaneus stays firmly on the ground and have the patient squat to take the measurement. This is a gross dorsiflexion measurement. This includes the rear foot, the midfoot, and the forefoot. You can also have the patient do this test in a lunge. Depends on the context with which you want to apply this measure. If you want to isolate this to the talocrural joint as best as you can, you want to lock the midfoot. You can use a pin under the navicular. If the head of the pin pops up, then you know the midfoot has collapsed. And you can see here, when you do this test, locking out the midfoot and forefoot, there's restricted dorsiflexion range. Normal roughly is 50 degrees gross, roughly 40 degrees if you take out the midfoot and forefoot compensations.